this is going to be a muon detector. These are cheap $18 boards I bought off of Amazon. They're Geiger counters. These are SBM20 Soviet Geiger Mueller tubes. I bought those separately, also on Amazon. You can get them on eBay too, all sorts of places. You get the two cards, you pop the tubes in, and they just clip in there. I had to bend these out of the way and then bend a little pin sticking out on that one so they would fit nicely. Um, you just plunk them in. They go to a USB power supply. And they both worked. Both the tubes worked and both the... Uh, both the circuit boards worked. They came with a bunch of computer style you know, internal card standoffs made out of brass. So you, what you can do, and I, I still have a bunch more that they gave me, what you can do is build up. And then that would like you stack them without them touching each other. And then, then they would still both work without shorting each other out. You got to be a little careful. So when you stack them together, you can stack a piece of lead plate, thin lead plate, 1.2 millimeters, 2 millimeters thin lead plate there. Put that one on top and then another lead plate. What does that give you? It gives you the tubes lined up vertically, 90 degrees towards the surface of the earth. Anything coming straight down that can punch through those both those lead plates pretty much has to be a cosmic ray derived muon so what i'm going to do is i have a lead pig it's a eight inch round 300 pound lead pipe basically with a four inch thick walls of the pipe and the empty area inside is also four inches so i can stack these and slide them in without the little lead plates everywhere so I haven't put on lead plates. This is a uh, pitch blend uranium. This is uraninite. You can buy these eBay cheap. These are just test sources. So the problem is these are clicking all the time from background radiation. Okay, you put lead plates on them. They'll, they'll click less, but they'll still click. Each one will click separately. And sometimes there'll be some simultaneous clicks. So how do you know if you have a muon? Well, after treating with lead, you run the outputs, either the LED or the speaker, or both, to a AND gate microchip. And it's just a black little... Integrated circuit microchip, they're like four bucks a piece. Six bucks, seven bucks, you can get a pack of five. Uh, I'm going to use, and it hasn't arrived yet, a 74HC08. That's a microchip that is an AND gate, a logic circuit. It will only allow a signal through if this outputs and this outputs at the same time. If this one clicks, but not this one, no no signal. Also vice versa. If this one clicks, but that one doesn't, no signal gets passed through. Only if these both click simultaneously, covered in lead, then you know you have a muon. And the output from that chip, so you're just taking one line from each one, going to pins 1 and 2 on the 74HC08. Then pin 3 will be the output. If pin 1 and pin 2 both simultaneously get a signal on both sides, then you'll have a signal output on pin 3, which you can then run to an LED light, a speaker, or... 
you know, one of the bazillion oscilloscopes I got around the place. And you can watch that spike, and then you know when you have a muon. Muons in that lead chamber, they're going to hit maybe once a minute, as opposed to background radiation, which is eh, 20 to 30 times a second per unit. Now you're only going to get one stacked up going through. Once a minute, you might get a click. That's going to be a muon. And this is just the easy, easy, easy Geiger counters off of Amazon. And they come with a ton of stuff. This is Radiation D version 1.1 .1 from C.A. Joe. And they come without the tube. And then the tube, I'll show you this. And these tubes run at 400 volts. So you don't want to be touching them to each other or laying them on a metal table or, you know, getting your fingers in there. But the SMB, all right, this is a S, sorry, SBM 20, common Soviet tube, and it's marked plus. And usually when you buy them, there's a big green line there. That's negative, plus, negative, plus. The plus here is marked very well. And then that's your negative. It comes with a clip. So you can put any tube you want. Well, not any tube, but a bunch of different types of tubes. Some are shorter. I don't have shorter tubes. So I flattened these, just flattened them with my fingers. Then there's a little L-shaped pokey deal on both sides here. Flatten one of those or straighten one of those out. Pair of pliers. Don't yank on the board. Just crimp tightly with the board loose and then you won't break anything. And then you get plus and plus to plus, minus minus, you pop them in and they work. It's got an on off switch, on off switch, LED, USB power comes with it. It also has uh, these little power taps with the screws. It comes with a battery pack. So you can put AA batteries in there with two wires that can go into there if you want to power it that way, if you're walking around and don't have USB. Uh, it comes with output jack for like a headphone output to say a computer microphone input. That way you can um, track the clicks with various softwares. There's the speaker. There are various little jumpers here. And if you look online, it'll tell you um, what you're doing. Also for our Duino, it's got ground, voltage in, 5 volts. So you can hook these up to our Duino. I don't do our Duino at the moment. But if you want to just make your own thing, it also comes with those jumper cables where the females fit over these pins came with three of those these jumpers here can um i believe you can turn on and off the speaker here by using them and you can negate some outputs uh, the the clicking doesn't bother me i think it's pretty cool Uh, shouldn't really be touching this that much. This is another little lead containment device. So you have this piece of lead, this one piece of lead output to an AND gate, which is a simple cheap chip. Boom. You've got a muon detector. You keep it 90 degrees, you'll get the most amount of muons per minute, which is usually still about one. And that's a very cheap, easy, easy muon detector. I'll have a link in the description towards a blog post that kind of draws everything out and gets more into detail with the AND counter microchip. But 
It's literally just a black microchip with 14 legs, 14 pins on it. And it's actually has four AND gates built into it. Pin seven is, I believe, ground, and pin 14 is the power source. Two to six volts on that one. So again, you could probably wire up the easy USB input for the voltage. Two to six volts to power the chip. These, I believe, run on five volts each. So USB is fine, the little USB wall outlet plug. They give you the, the pin, power pin, two USB, the old style US, big USB plug. They give you that cable. And you can plug that into a, like a phone charger or a computer or a power supply. And again, they give you wires that can go to the battery pack. They give you the battery pack. They give you jumpers for powering off of other boards or Arduinos. Um, they give you a bunch of brass stands, short ones that are installed already with the nuts. They give you a set of four longer ones. Uh, the problem with the, the longer ones is my stacking method. You got to be careful if you're stacking not to touch that, and they kind of hit right there. So I just did it off of this side. And if you want to get lead plates, boom, you just stick a lead plate in between those. Pop this on there. Put the nuts on there to keep it from sagging. Doesn't really matter. And then just lay another lead plate up on top and yeah you can buy lead thin lead thin thin lead rolls again cheap probably that's the most expensive thing it's like around 15 20 dollars the shipping is expensive because it's heavy but you can cut that with scissors pop that on there you're all done And if you just want to get one of them as a Geiger counter, that's cool, too. Uh, I used SBM20s. They are, they don't register alpha radiation. There's other tubes with thin glass. Probably could do alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray, whatever. This, I got SBMs because they were less sensitive. I don't want to get a bunch of background radiation. I don't want to get the different different types on this. I've got a ton of other Geiger counters and scintillation detectors and gamma ray spectroscopy setups. So I can do alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray. This since I wanted these basically only to do muons for this little kit that I'm going to show in part two, I, I didn't care. I, in fact, wanted the opposite. Uh, the other thing to be careful, though, is even though these are metal, not glass, it's very, 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 very thin metal. So you don't want to be pressing on them too much. And even these, these aren't pins. They're just, it's neck down the tube there you can crush that part. So handle them very, very, very carefully. Those tubes came from uh, Mighty Ohm in these neat little containers. SBM20, Geiger Mueller, off of Amazon. And then what's also neat is if you're, if you don't want to do Muon or you're only buying one of these, they come with these cool plexiglass, it's got a covering on it, plexiglass covers to keep your fingers away from the 400 volt there. This is the battery pack they give you where you can pop it into this little area here. 
run off of three 1.5 volts. See you in part two.